Morning, it's uh, Monty from Sporty Cyclist, the mammal channel here, and I thought in this video I would talk to you about cycling with prescription glasses. Now, I wrote a post almost two years ago now on the blog, prompted by an email from a reader, yep, that's the other reader that's not my mother, writing in, having seen some of the photos that I'd posted of myself, showing obviously that I, I wear glasses and he wrote in with uh, I think an, a useful email about some tips regarding wearing very vocals. It then prompted me to write a bigger post about the subject. If you're interested in reading that go to the uh, description below this video and uh, you can find it there. The other reason that's prompted me to film this video is because I've just bought some new cycling sunglasses with prescription lenses. I thought I would unbox or unbag those as well. Hi, Future Monty here. Two things before we get into this video. First, do you want to see more videos from me that inspire, enthuse and inform you about road cycling? If you do, then please do hit subscribe and also click the notifications button so that you get told when I release a new video. Secondly, it won't escape your notice that I'm wearing the uh, cycling prescription glasses that I'm talking about in this unboxing slash unbagging episode. If you want to hear how I got on with them, then please do stick around till the end of the video and I will reveal all. Okay, back to the show. As you can see, I wear glasses pretty much all the time because of my deep Yorkshire pockets and short arms. You might be able to see there that I've actually managed to break these and uh, have repaired them, I think, with a paper clip, which I'm perversely uh, pleased about. It's not a particularly strong prescription. I have in the past ordered contact lenses and tried those out but never particularly got on with them. The most glaring use case for me for using contacts is um, for cycling, uh, particularly when I want to wear sunglasses. Generally speaking for day-to-day -day riding I just wear these glasses but in sunny conditions, particularly when it's really really bright and it's a long day in the saddle, it can become a bit sort of overwhelming to have bright sunlight and also be working uh, pretty hard on the bike. If I'm on holiday somewhere hot, the sun's beating down, it's nice to have some glasses. I don't think it was when I got these glasses, I think when I got a previous set, I got a free set of prescription sunglasses. It's obvious to say that these are not sports sunglasses, but they do serve the purpose of allowing me to see uh, when I'm on the bike, when it's sunny outside and I want a bit of protection from the old glare. So I wore these quite happily on my most recent holiday. That's the dishwasher. It's going to do a beep beep. I'm going to start talking and it's going to do a beep beep. So yeah, I wore these quite happily on rides on my most recent holiday in the Côte d'Azur and only had to put up with the odd insult from my wife. Quite recently, I actually I'll probably take these off. There's the beep. Quite recently, I was at the Birmingham Cycle Show. I tend to find I'm not really in the mood to spend money. I mentioned that I'm from Yorkshire. But as I was passing a stall, it seemed to have quite a lot of interest in it. It was quite easy for them to spot their customers in that it was anyone wearing glasses. Essentially, they were selling um, prescription sunglasses or prescription glasses, I guess, for, uh, for any sort of activity. Uh, the company itself is called iPod. They seem to do glasses for all sorts of different sports. I can see cycling and shooting. They do both at the same time, I guess. Anyway, so I was at uh, the cycle show and got chatting to the people there and basically I thought I would give them a go. They cost £89.99. All I had to do was try them on and I didn't even need my prescription. They were able to use a machine to determine what sort of lenses I need. And they arrived this week and I thought I would uh, unbox them. They come in this sort of quite hard case. I haven't even opened any of these. So that looks like a strap for keeping them on your head. Another strap for keeping them on your head. So these are the, the main glasses, if I show you these, essentially the prescription bit is, can you see that? No, you can just see me. So the prescription bit is that they have the, uh, the lenses themselves sort of sit in the frame behind and then on the front of the frame you have a variety, well you have basically a, 
a section where you can fit a visor and there are different visors. This is the sort of, is it like a polarised reflective glass one? I'll try those on. I mean obviously I look like an absolute clown, I guess with helmet on which I might show you later. They look as if they have slightly more cycling intent perhaps than the uh, than the uh, prescription sunnies there. W one of the factors that I'm not sure I like about these is that the lenses themselves are very sort of flat. The attraction of these sunglasses is that the visor itself is more shaped around the face. So yeah, these are the polarised ones. So, uh, a little bag. And then in addition to that set of polarised lenses, we have, this is clear ones, Clear. We have sort of your standard. Uh, so these are polarized, sort of greyish ones. Your light blue ones. Those are more for your if it's raining and somewhat darker. You perhaps want those. And then your bright yellow ones, which I think are more for your, your cloudy conditions. But this sort of hard shell case here has little foam compartments, or little foam holders, I suppose, where each of these can uh, slot into. It's not quite the quality of an equivalent Oakley case, but then on the other hand, it definitely isn't an Oakley price. So you can see they sort of slot on there. This is a, uh, a bluish, bluish frame that can slide into there. We've got quite a neat... <laughs> if you want to wander around with it hanging from your belt. Now at this point, I do remember the chap at the stall showing me how to remove the, um, the lenses, which I'll do. I think I'll just check on the website to see exactly how we do it so that I don't damage the, uh, the lenses uh, through my own incompetence. So bear with. Right then, I'm back. Turns out it's uh, pretty easy to change the lenses. How do we do it? So it said, all you need to do is hold the edge here, you unclip it here, hold the edge on this side, unclip it, it says, here, and then from just on the uh, clip on top of the nose, you just have to uh, rotate it and it pops out. And so actually it has, whilst we're, whilst we're doing this, you can see, that uh, this, these are the, the glasses with the prescription lenses showing more clearly. And then to put on another lens, all you need to do is just hold it in the middle. We've put the, the lens on top of the uh, clip, which is just above the nose piece. You sort of clip it in to either side. And there we go. You'll have a better view than me as to what these look like. I imagine, because I've seen other friends who've got similar glasses, you can probably see the outline of the prescription lenses through the glasses, which I guess is the main downside. Aesthetically, of going with this sort of uh, system, I keep going back to the point that I think for, for 90 quid for prescription sports glasses, it seems like pretty good value for me and uh, a compromise I'm going to make. Now, the other interesting and in inverted commas thing that I've just discovered from looking at these videos is not relating to this case. But now what I just discovered is through watching another of the YouTube videos that they come with this uh, sports strap. And to be honest, I'm not sure whether this is much use when it comes to cycling, but I'll show you anyway. Essentially, it appears that you can remove the, the arms, he says. So you turn it in and you twist, pull them out, do it in, turn inwards. It's worrying, but achieved it okay. And then it's a similar, similar sort of caboodle, putting them in. And then we have Oh, that didn't work so well. Oh, it doesn't appear to be the most effective. Maybe I've got this on too tight. Let's see. Maybe I've got a big head. Is it clipped in? It's clipped in. That's clipped in. 
Well, I would say that's pretty uncomfortable. <sighs> and it keeps clipping out. Uh, back in. So, let's see uh, what they're like with a helmet. Now you'd think they've had planned this video and have actually gone and got this helmet. Uh, so it's ready to go, but nonetheless, here it is, right? Helmet on. There is a rule about in cycling. The arms of your glasses are meant to go outside of the straps, um, which actually, I guess, in the case of these sunglasses is pretty much the only way you would want to do it. I can put a finger width inside them on the sides of my faces. You wouldn't want to do it the other way. When it comes to wearing my standard glasses on the bike, I do tend to to flout that rule. But nonetheless, here we go. So, helmet, sunglasses. Because the helmet obviously makes my head look like a mushroom, it makes the glasses, I guess, look a little bit more in proportion with my uh, head and makes them look slightly less outlandish. Let's try another of the uh, lenses. Put on the, uh, the original funky rainbow anodized. Is that the term? See those again. I am looking at this, to be fair, on a small screen next to my uh, camera for the first time and they don't look too bad. I guess the next thing to do would be to test them on the bike. I imagine they're going to be fine. Uh, I can certainly see in them. They do offer quite a lot more pre protection at the sides versus my uh, standard uh, glasses. Well, they haven't been fixed with uh, a paper clip, so I guess that's a positive. Hello, it's Future Monte here. I thought I'd just spend a few minutes on my first ride with these iPod Hawk glasses just to give my initial impressions. It's a bit of a gloomy evening, Friday evening. So I selected these blue lenses and uh, off I've gone. So, first impressions. So they've certainly protected my eyes from all of the grime and muck. There's probably the odd spot of water and mud on the glasses. Clearly that's not going in my eyes. The visor provides more protection than my standard glasses, so they wrap around a bit here, as you can see. I'll leave it to you as to whether I look like a complete Muppet, given that the trend these days seems to be to wear more and more outlandish sunglasses or glasses on a bike. I don't think they look too bad. It occurs to me that my mid-ride initial impressions of these glasses didn't give a lot of insight, so a few additional thoughts. They're comfortable. Um, I've only been out for 50 or so minutes, but I've certainly felt no discomfort. Too early to say whether that would be the case on longer rides, but I don't really get the impression that they'll be uncomfortable. I'm certainly not feeling any rubbing anywhere on my head or on my ears. My ears obviously being on my head. I can see in them, which I guess is pretty important for a set of prescription glasses. The prescription appears to be correct. What was that? They seem pretty stable on my head, so I've done a little bit of shaking around there and they're not moving at all. They certainly weren't moving on the bike as I was riding. They seem to play nicely with my helmet and with my Trex bone conduction headphones, uh, which is important to me because I do like to listen to a podcast or two when I'm riding. Day two approximately the same place. This time I'm wearing the yellow visor, intended for slightly gloomy conditions. I can confirm that whilst it isn't actually as gloomy perhaps as it was actually yesterday, it certainly brightens things up. Downside with these lenses is that you can see the glasses uh, behind them a little bit more. These seem to work pretty well. It might be quite a few months now, with it being October, until I can try out both the uh, sunglasses and that shiny metallic -y colour one. Uh, but if I do get a nice day, I'll be sure to try them and let you know how they go. Cool dude, complete Muppet. And with that, it's back to old Monty in his house. Over to you, Monty. So there we go then. To summarise, I generally wear my bog standard prescription glasses when I'm out cycling. Generally that's fine. They can be a hassle when it is raining and they get fogged up. Alternatively, if it's super sunny and I could do with sunglasses. So now I'm trying out these, the iPod Hawk. I'm looking on their website now, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. So I got them at the bike show and I think they must have been 10 pounds off because I can see that for a single vision prescription, 
they're £99. Bifocals, £129, and Varifocals, £179. Pretty reasonable when you take into account the different variety of options that you've got in terms of lenses and what have you, and comparing them to alternatives. I hope you found this video useful. So if you have any particular tips about wearing prescription glasses or indeed any sort of glasses whilst out road cycling, please do leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, click the subscribe button. I've been Monty, you're watching Sportive Cyclist, the Mammal Channel, and I'll see you in the next video.